So welcome back to my design class. What I thought we'd do today is take a look at how we can save our documents in Photoshop as templates. So just before we begin the video, if you found this video useful, then please do consider leaving a like and also remember to subscribe to the channel to make sure you never miss a Photoshop tutorial. So first of all, why might we want to save our Photoshop document as a template? Well, I myself, like many other designers out there, use templates on a day-to-day -day basis in Photoshop. So for example, for this channel, what I have to do when I create a new video is I also have to make a new thumbnail. And the thumbnail is the image that appears on your home screens, suggested videos, and just on the channel pages itself. And so because I have to create this thumbnail on a very regular basis, and I want all the thumbnails to be consistent and follow a particular style, it's always very handy to have a template that I can use as a start for my design. Of course, nowadays, one of the big applications of templates and mockups is for social media posts. For example, you might need a different template for Instagram posts, Instagram stories, TikTok posts, Facebook posts, Snapchat posts, a whole range of different social media platforms that all require slightly different mockups. So it's just handy to be able to create your own templates and save them as a template format. So of course, if we were to normally save this file as a Photoshop document, the issue that we'd face is that every time I make a change and then save the document, it will always overwrite the initial template, which means that the next time I open up the template, it will no longer be the same as the one before. So in order to save our document as a Photoshop template, that will always be the same, no matter when we open it and how many changes we make to it. What we have to do is we have to go to file, save as and as you can see the shortcut for save as is command shift and s or control shift and s for windows and then from here we can name our document so i'm just going to leave it as tutorial.psd and you have to make sure that the format is a photoshop document now at this stage you might be wondering what the actual difference is going to be because we've set our save as parameters to all of the normal psd file formats but the change is actually going to be in the name or more specifically the extension of our file. So at the top, we always have the name, which is what we call our documents. And then we have the extension, which lets us know what type of document we're saving it as. So at the moment, it's set to PSD, which stands for Photoshop document. But if we wanted to change this to a template, well, all we have to do is we have to press on the end of our extension and add the letter T which means that it now stands for a Photoshop document template. And this is literally the only change that we have to do. So all we have to do now is press save. And then once again, OK. And as you can see at the top left hand corner where our tab indicates what file we have open at the moment, our tutorial has now been saved to .psdt, which is exactly what we need. So if I now go ahead and close this document, and then go to open and find my document once again. And just open the document. Then as you can see, the immediate first change is the name of the document. It's now set to untitled one, even though we saved the document as tutorial.psdt. And this is the crucial change and a check you need to make. If this isn't appearing in the top left hand corner, then you know you haven't saved your document correctly as a template file. But basically what this allows us to do now is if I made a change to my template. So for example, if I went to the rectangular marquee tool, with the shortcut is M and made a selection, made a new layer and just filled that selection in white, going to G on my keyboard and selecting the paint bucket tool and then deselect using command D or control D for windows and just going back to my move tool. So now I've made a change to my template, even though it doesn't really look like much. If I now go to file and save, then as you can see, it is no longer possible to overwrite our initial document. So Photoshop is now prompting us into saving a completely new file. So let's say I save this file as, I don't know, sample thumbnail, like so, and press save. Then as you can see, it's now generated a new .psd file as a thumbnail. Now, of course, I could have also gone to file, save a copy, 
and actually save that as any of these other formats. So for example, I'd probably more naturally go to save a JPEG. But the crucial thing is now if I just quickly cancel this and close this document, then if I go back to my original template, which you can find here, .psdt, all of those changes that I made in the other document have not followed through onto this document, which is great because this now means that it's a template file which I can't accidentally overwrite, meaning that every time I return to the file, it's always going to be the same. So those were the essentials of how to save your Photoshop document as a template. I hope you found the video useful. Do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll try to answer as many as possible. And also just remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more tutorials.